New developments tonight in an investigation the Fox 5 I team broke last month. Authorities in Texas have started their own probe in connection to an alleged scam involving missing horses from Georgia. Yeah. Owners claim a veterinary school student tricked them into donating their horses with the promise of a better life for them. Well, the Fox 5 I team reporter Randy Travis says those horses may have ended up in a place that he just visited more than a thousand miles from Georgia. That's right, Russ and Sine. Yeah, Eagle Pass, Texas, right on the border with Mexico. It's the final stop for thousands of American horses before they head off to Mexican slaughterhouses and eventually someone's dinner plate. We're following a dusty path that few Americans ever consider. Down there? Yeah. Thank you. We're hoping to pick up a trail, one that started in Metro Atlanta and may have ended in a tiny Texas border town, infamous among animal advocates for the thousands of unlucky American horses that wind up in a holding pen with a green tag pinned to their back. The color of money, the color of death. It's heartbreaking to see, you know, these animals that just ended up in the wrong place. We're just outside of Eagle Pass here and there are three trailers as we're walking through this parking lot that are filled with horses. Horses, I see maybe a donkey or two in there, all ready to head across the border to Mexico to the slaughterhouse. Last year, 75,000 horses shipped across the border from kill pens like these, their final hours on American soil. Georgia horse owners and Texas law enforcement now have the same question. Did any start their fateful trip because of the comforting words of this Alabama woman. Fallon, can you tell us what you did with all the horses you brought back to Alabama? Fallon Blackwood is charged with tricking a North Carolina man into giving away two horses he could no longer care for, assuring him they would be perfect companions for her personal horse on this farm near Boaz, Alabama. More than 30 others in Georgia and across the Southeast tell law enforcement the Tuskegee Veterinary School student gave them an identical story, each looking for a quiet home for their horse to live out their final years. Instead, more than 50 have disappeared. Like Willie, a giant gray gelding, he belonged to Lindsay Rosentrader of Roswell. I hope to find him, but just knowing where these horses go, I just, I hate feeling so out of control of his well-being right now. According to this police report with the Maverick County, Texas Sheriff's Department, a law firm representing Lindsay says Willie and other horses were taken to Stanley Brothers Auction in Atala, Alabama. Horses destined for slaughter eventually show up at Stanley Brothers main pens in Bastrop, Louisiana. The company has a Facebook page seeking bids to spare their lives before this ship date, before the horse heads south to Mexico. They're really just saying, you know, that they're going to be put on the truck so people will feel bad with their bleeding hearts and purchase them. This woman is a private citizen certified in Texas to investigate animal cruelty. She also volunteers with the Equine Welfare Alliance, a group that has spent years tracking horses through auctions like Stanley Brothers. She asked us not to use her name or show her face. Horses are people's pets. They're not their companion animals. People are eating American horses. This is Mitch Stanley. His son and brother currently face criminal charges in connection to what happened to a 65-year-old horse advocate. Andrew Payne sat in his pickup trying to take pictures of the Bastrop, Louisiana facility. Instead, members of the Stanley family confronted him. Payne had to have facial reconstructive surgery. His alleged attackers go to trial in June. They also face a civil suit. No one from Stanley Brothers would return our request for comment. The Maverick County Sheriff's Department tells the Fox 5i team it is now investigating whether Stanley Brothers shipped any of the missing horses to Eagle Pass and whether those horses had the proper ownership records. We were there when Lindley Edwards of the Edwards & Johnson Law Firm in Canton filed the complaint. What's your ultimate goal? To find them, find out what happened to them and help, help uh, the victims. Uh, obtain justice. Eagle Pass is clearly a horse trading hub. We watch this trailer packed with horses work its way over the international bridge and into Mexico, where unlike in the U.S., horse slaughter for human consumption is allowed. The meat can wind up as far away as Russia and Vietnam. But just like many of those other horses involved in the Fallon investigation, Lindsay Rosen Trader's Willie was sick, taking medicine that should have made him ineligible for slaughter and food. Eagle Pass is the closest border crossing to Bastrop, Louisiana. What are the chances Willie came through Eagle Pass? 
I would say the chances of Willie coming through Eagle Pass are exceptional. Hello. 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 How are you? How are you? We showed up at the Chula Vista holding pen outside Eagle Pass with pictures of Willie and the other missing horses. The business is privately owned and operated. We cross horses to Mexico, but everything here is legal. Manager Jose Martinez agreed to take a look. Few horse. His name was Willie. If we cannot take picture at every every horse. Yeah. Yeah. Would you cross to Mexico? Would you remember this is a really big one? Seventeen hands. No. It would have been sometime in February. No. Middle of February. Mm -mm. No, sir. A quick glance, and he was ready for us to leave. More horses to load, and somewhere soon, more mouths to feed. Even though it's not allowed in the United States, horse advocates want Congress to ban the export of horses to any other country for slaughter and food. Instead, some in Congress actually support reopening slaughterhouses in the U.S., thinking that will ensure those horses are sent to their deaths in a more humane way. And right now, neither of those ideas have enough support to pass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people love their horses, and it's very sad what happened. They sure do. All right, Randy, thanks. Thank you, Randy. Okay.